So, welcome to the You're class. Back. Yes, that's it. We are live. <laughs> <laughs> so today there will be. Um, we will repeat the same topic as it was on Wednesday. So if you want, you can watch that uh, recording as well. So today we will talk about grief and how we allow ourselves to let it go. So there is five stages of uh, grief. Mm processing so i will just mention them but we are not going to be uh, working with them like uh, this class is not for something fresh that there is some stages that you really need to go through some some stages that uh, and it usually is a denial anger bargaining and depression where it go, allows you to go on a deeper level of uh, experiencing pain and uh, separation and acceptance as a final stage. So everybody is uh, usually going through the stages and everybody, for everyone it's different. So for some it may last days, for some it may last months or years so but it's a uh, uh, some of them could be shifted a little bit a little bit different but most of them like in general it's all five stages always present during the grieve grieving uh, process so just be aware that there are such um, stages and if you want you can find more information about it in internet but today I want to talk about the grief that uh, already lasting for years and it doesn't go anywhere and it still be painful and it still be very dramatic for us. Like we cannot, we're still holding for something. We still have guilt, we still have anger, we still have blames and disappointments. In, first of all, in ourselves and it's a very, uh, deplete, uh, energy depleting for us and we cannot really use ourselves um, potential in the present moment because so much stuck in this experiences so this is uh, my perception so if you are not agree I respect it if you want to try it you can do it so today I want to invite you to integrate neurographica and breathing technique. Grief as an emotion is usually stored in lungs. This is where it's, uh, this emotion and, or feeling is suppressed. And it's hard to breathe, it's hard to allow ourselves to live fully if something is stuck there. And is something is um, really holding us there so we really want to let it go and the best way to process it's my opinion the best way to process it is to let it go with the breathing and we will practice i will talk about a little bit later a little bit more when we start drawing uh, another thing that i wanted to mention that when we're grieving, it's mostly about our, uh, ourselves. It's mostly about we lost something and we cannot cope without this person. We did not, uh, we had some hopes, we had some dreams, we had some expectations, and suddenly they disappeared. Um, most of the time we have uh, anger and guilt uh, towards ourselves like first of all towards ourselves or another person like something that they haven't done or you we did not have a chance to to do it on time so all these emotions like very entangled and so much so much is going on in the process and nothing could be repeated nothing can be fixed this is the point where we have to accept it or let it go so death 
itself is uh, really causing a lot of transcendental um, crisis in each of us. Like some of us um, experience this crisis at early age, some of us experience it uh, much older. So everybody has lost somebody. Wow. M let's say like I maybe there are some happy people who did not experience any loss yet but most of us do, does and for children for example it doesn't matter who has died like for them loss of a mm, cat or a rabbit or any pet could be as dramatic as death of uh, somebody like a family member. So for if you did not have a chance to process this grief, please do so. It will be as important as work with any uh, very close and important people in your life. So there is no small grief. There is always a pain there. And if it's there is a pain that you want to return this energy back to you. So my point is today give you a method, give you the instrument, two instruments together that helps you to bring this energy from that painful experience to uh, bring this pain back to you, transform it and establish connection with another participant through love and gratitude. So we breaking this uh, connection through pain and suffering, return this energy back to us, transform it and send love and gratitude. So we changing this energy, we changing this connection, we changing perception to this uh, person. We're not really stuck in the uh, death itself, but we're just more focusing on the life and gratitude, how much we had experience from uh, this relationship. Okay, enough words. So I switch my camera and we'll start drawing. So I'll show you, first of all, I'll show you my drawing from Wednesday. So let's make sure there's nothing. Today, uh, I, we are not going to do any activations because usually when we're talking about grief, the subject could be already painful. So there will be no extra two minutes exercises. Uh, as an opposition, I want, I invite you to put your feet on the ground and make sure before we start to do anything else, that we feel grounded, that we feel present in this moment. So the moment here today on July 3rd, 2020, and it's a, so I'm here. So my, all my relationship with myself, with this uh, experience will be from this present moment because it's a, there will be temptation to just fall off in that uh, all the whole bloom of this experiences. So we are here. So feel your feet, feel your body, feel your presence, your chair, whatever you sit on. And just still uh, keep breathing. Focus is internal focus. So I'm here. And the first, uh, you think about who, which grief, which, um, what, what do you want to let go? With who is the person or participant or any creature that you want to work right now? It could be your family member, it could be your friend, it could be your uh, loved ones, uh, colleague, um, pet, I don't know, um, some person that you witnessed death or anybody who you really care about it, like you. So, 
So choose and you may even invite this person in this experience because we will interact with this person during this experience, during this drawing. And the first thing, of course, we are going to do to draw yourself. Where in this experience you are, like draw a circle that will represent yourself. How big you are, where you locate. So just draw yourself. Look at yourself, how, like, does any, how do you feel? Do you want to be bigger? Do you want to be smaller? Is it okay for you to have this position and this um, size? Another thing that we are going to do, like we already visualized or invited this another participant and we draw the circle that will represent this participant. Look how big is this participant. Is there any overlap? So it's uh, for me, I did not expect the overlap in this relationship, in this um, grieving process. And I look how big is another participant and how do I feel about it? Like I have a tingling um, sensations in my feet really so that's why I'm like hold your feet on the ground make sure that you are grounded because we're working with a very important with very powerful um, relationship that still have some so much meaning and emotions to you and another thing that we are going to do we start breathing and the breathing is uh, when we start uh, drawing lines from uh, uh, another person's side, like we taking, we returning back from that person, all psychic energy that we invested in it. It's all our energy, it's all our perception, it's all our suffering, it's all our pain, it's all our hopes and dreams and expectations and blames and anger so everything and and joy and uh, gratitude so all of it we take back to ourself and we open our heart and send with when we exhale we sending through our heart we sending love and gratitude to this person so we take all these challenges transform it inside of our, our heart and send love and gratitude. So we're uh, constantly moving the air in our lungs and all these emotions going through our lungs and it's transforming in the heart area. So there will be, um, maybe it's not so intuitive as I described, uh, let's just try. So I am inhale and I return all the suffering and so a painful experience back to me and I open my heart and I visualize the flow of love and gratitude and I draw near line back to this person. It, you may uh, inhale through nose, exhale through mouth or through nose. Let's see how it's more effectively. And I send love and gratitude through my heart. And see how you start feeling.
So you can uh, keep drawing lines as much as you keep breathing. You see how many connections we have now, how strong this um, connections is. And if it's already so many lines, I invite you to start rounding corners. Keep breathing, keep inhale all this psychic energy, whatever it is, don't be afraid to get uh, sick or get angry or get, um, I don't know, all those blames and bad vibes because when you return it you bring it to your heart and heart has the power to transform it in love and gratitude and it will be uh, your body will be able to use this energy to move forward to move um, uh, really to process it in a healthy way in a in a way to make sure that um you can change your life with uh, love and gratitude to this person like uh, you can make the best out of your life so it's very important to keep breathing keep release this grief out of your lungs make sure that it's still moving it's still be um deep enough deep um and powerful if you are uh, lightheaded because it requires a lot of its uh, air going through your lungs you may take it slow make sure that you have enough water nearby because it may um, it's a lot of information a lot of emotions that want to be washed out so keep drinking just clear water, no coffee or tea, just water. And we keep breathing and sending love and gratitude. It's interesting on Wednesday, I was working with a relationship that I was um, with a person that I really, uh, the experience was very painful when it's happened today i was i did not expect that today will be more emotional for me so i'm i keep breathing i did not expect that there's so much uh, overlap between me and this person There will still be some guilt that I experience right now. So I keep returning this guilt back to me. So, and I sending love and gratitude. You can even visualize that you're uh, working with this like that person is standing next to you and the flow of love and gratitude is going through your heart to that person and to their heart and how they accept it or not let's see if they really need this love and gratitude it could be different situations so we we cannot really force anybody but just observe allow yourself to experience it so we keep breathing we keep
So as I mentioned at the beginning, that this is not for this. Um, you may try, but I I would say that if it's a raw experience, like if somebody just passed away recently, um, I don't know how it will be gentle for you to go through. We are right now we are working with something that is already um, happened long time ago so so be very gentle to yourself like allow yourself to grieve allow yourself to experience some um, emotions like very strong emotions they can be challenging but it still be uh, needed for your healing so don't try to suppress anything anything so if it's um show up let it express let it uh, return it to yourself and uh, sending love and gratitude so we're still working with yourself it's your perception so we keep breathing and we keep sending love and gratitude and another thing that uh, when we start breathing it really helps us to stop this uh, constant dialogue with these people who are not with us anymore so we keep talking and keep blaming and keep complaining about the same stuff so concentrate on this uh, breathing concentrate on the movement of uh, energies of uh, movement of your lungs and movement of your experiences processes inside of your body so you concentrating on yourself not on your mental pictures not on your dialogue so it's uh, may slow down your mind and it's really allowed the body to process this energy. We don't find any excuses. We don't try to find any judgments or critique for this. Uh, whatever happened, we just observe how we react to this energy that is returning back to us. With all this oxygen that we return back to us, there is a lot of energy returning to you, uh, returned to your body. So we keep breathing and sending love and gratitude. So it's uh, it's really uh, when we start uh, paying attention to our the way we're breathing, everything is slowing down. Even my heart is slowing down. I'm not in rush anywhere. I don't really try to make um, these feelings go away. I just enjoy that I can be present. And if you feel like you want to cry or if you want to um, get sad, it's okay. So don't suppress them. Allow yourself to experience them. And we keep rounding. We keep transforming those emotions in something more balanced and something more harmonious. So keep breathing. I feel like uh, like a sand in my eyes. It's uh, interesting. Um, I don't really feel like I want to cry, but but there is a, such a strong feeling in my eyes. Maybe I want to cry. I don't know yet. I keep returning it and I keep sending love and gratitude.
So we have uh, many lines, and if you need more, please do so. We uh, don't rush. It's a uh, allow yourself to be as slow as you need. There is no standards. There is no really. Um, it's at such feeling. There is no time. Time does not really exist at this experience. So keep breathing. And we keep sending love and gratitude. And if you want, if it's, um, if you round it enough, you may start uh, <clears throat> inviting this um, people or entities or, uh, I don't know, some forces that are ready to um, support, meet and support and give uh, protection and love to, to this person on another side, like to who is uh, meeting them there. So those people can be who passed away before them or sometimes like uh, after them like who do you want to be them with who is will take care of them or maybe they need to take care of somebody that you uh, cared about as well so this uh, particular people you can draw around this person and uh, allow them to be connected it could be ancestry line, the family uh, line, like your great great parents, or your um, maybe some people from your ancestry line that you've never met. You maybe even never heard about them, but for sure there is a many of them who is still loving their uh, children, their grandchildren, and ready to take care of them. It really doesn't matter if they are on a different side. So you can draw a circle, for example, this I see like a circle that will represent ancestry line. I want it even bigger. And I'm working today with my grandfather. And why? Oops. See how do you feel when you see the support uh, from another side? Maybe you want to invite a family angel if you like some traditions, cultures have such, or you can invite a guardian angel or maybe some uh, specific saint that you want to ask for some support. Uh, for this particular person, or maybe some, uh, you just bringing some feeling that you want to uh, experience uh, this soul, beautiful soul. It's not a person. It's a, we're talking about the supporting a beautiful soul that is ready to uh, transform something different to light and love and maybe different 
human. So we're sending this uh, love and gratitude to set them free because all this low vibrations that we're sending, all this uh, pain and suffering, we are holding them back uh, unintentionally. So we, um, it's uh, really, um, we have the power to set them free. We have the power to let them go. It's only our uh, power. It's uh, we can hold them or we can set them free. And it's uh, still be connected. Like when we say that we set them free, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that we like completely uh, have to forget about it. It's like, no, we can be connected in love and gratitude, in love and light. And we can experience and cherish this beautiful memories that we had. And it always seems like not enough, but we had a chance to experience those uh, memories. We had a chance to to have more than none. And it's very important to remember and be grateful for having this privilege to know this person, to care about this person, and be loved by this person as well. So it's a a lot of uh, energy. So if you have resources, you may connect even more this uh, soul with this resource, with this uh, meeting side, like meeting uh, on another side. Of course, there is a, uh, so many other souls that want to meet them. And I know that it can be in a conflict with some religious, but you can um, invite nature that is meeting them. You can invite um, elements, uh, water, earth, metal, uh, fire, whatever wants to um, integrate this beautiful soul and still be um, connected through those elements. So no, there is no, uh, nobody is wasted, like nobody's life is uh, worthless. There is always a beautiful footprint that in your uh, life or in somebody else. And we, uh, gra gratefully uh, really appreciate it for the chance to be part of this experience, part of this life. Okay. It's interesting, already second time that I'm drawing uh, and I've done uh, some drafts as well. Uh, every time I start rounding from this um, not from my side, but from uh, another side. This is uh, interesting that I'm not uh, rounding all the corners inside of me. And if you feel that uh, another side has enough support, Maybe you want to invite somebody who can support you here. And again, it could be a particular person. It could be a uh, family uh, ancestry line that still be able to support you. Even if you never met them or never knew them, it's, uh, it's still be possible to use this energy. We're talking about the energy. So you can invite this energy to support, to hold you back, to hug you, um, just be present. Uh, in most cases, presence uh, is enough. And sometimes you can feel like very uh, physical sensations when 
you feel the presence of support, presence of your ancestry line, that you can experience it on a physical level. So you can draw this. Um, okay, another thing that I want, like my grandma is passed away already too, so I want to bring them together. So I want them to be connected. And what do you want, uh, what kind of support do you want for yourself? See if you want um, your family. Maybe it's your uh, spiritual teacher or maybe it's um, some... Uh, maybe it's earth, maybe it's... Um, you know, some practices that you like meditation, or maybe it's uh, uh, just a circle that will represent grounding for you. So you can draw it on your side. So for me, it's interesting. Uh, I don't want to invite pers uh, um, ancestry line, but I want to invite my mom and my dad. I think they 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 want to be present. They both love this my grandpa so see feel how does it really has changed like when you have support and how big is your support um we keep um uh, breathing we keep um returning the psychic energy from this relationship with uh and we're sending love and gratitude. See if with this, all the support that we have, if it's uh, enough for you, mm, and if there is any sensation, if it's uh, easier for you to breathe now when you have support, or you need more. Be generous to yourself, don't, uh, um, don't judge like oh i have i should have enough and if it's not enough just bring more just ask uh, what you need right now for feeling um supported feeling present feeling loved maybe you bring this um sub angels for yourself or maybe you you know, Virgin Mary, or maybe it's a um, energy of love that you really need for support. Like you can just draw the circle next to you. It doesn't matter how big it wants to be, but how much you need it. So uh, experience it. What do you want? What um, So allow yourself to draw it. And how does it feel? How does it resonate with your body, with your uh, emotions? Is it easier to breathe? Or maybe it could be... Uh, more challenging. So 
So keep breathing because and more challenging would be uh, because it's sometimes very emotional when you realize how much support you have and why did i suffer so much without really uh, inviting those energies in my life but it's not about judgment it's not about like oh why i didn't think about it before or uh, it's uh, use it right now as much as you need and just be aware that you may invite in your life in your uh, reality we're talking about your reality whatever you need at any time you need it uh, i really uh, enjoy this uh, creating this beautiful connections with uh, support for my grandpa And we keep breathing, we're returning energy and sending love and gratitude. Maybe you want to uh, say uh, this beautiful phrases that Ho'oponopono uh, phrases like I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. So they may be very helpful in this process. Or another thing that you want, uh, you may uh, want to do, like if you want to introduce anybody to this person, like um, uh, we're, uh, as I mentioned, like we may talking about this people who passed away 20, 30 years ago and so much change since they are gone maybe some people that are in your life and you want to ask for blessing or just to, to introduce those people it's maybe your children it's maybe your husband it's maybe your um i you know project that you are so proud of and you want to share it with this person so and you may draw them as a circles around as an introduction to them uh, and for example my grandpa never met my children so i draw both my children as one circle so yeah this is my children And I really want to, it's interesting, I want to ask for a blessing from an ancestry line through my grandpa to my children. And I want to through my, from my grandma, through my grandpa to my children. And my children sending gratitude for being part of this beautiful family. For being part of this beautiful family. So it's again new lines and we keep rounding every time we create a new line, a new connection, we keep integrating it. We keep make sure that it's everything is smooth, everything is moving. OK. 
keep drawing, keep rounding. This work is really requires a lot of lines. So many lines. But it's um because it, there is always so much emotions related to the subject, to this topic. And this is how we create new perception, new uh, neuron connections, and how we really change our physiology. We rewire ourselves differently and em physically and emotionally. So everything is connected. And it's uh, interesting, like we, um, the intention was to let go, but it's actually creates a different, much stronger connection. And it's just connection is different. Uh, connection of love and gratitude. It's uh, there is so much we. I feel like I I received so much today from this. Saying, sending love and gratitude to my grandpa. And I wasn't even aware how I still um, emotionally involved. Of course, it was painful experience, but it's um, I did not expect that it wasn't fully processed yet. So keep breathing. Notice uh, if your the way you're breathing uh, will change in general. Like if you start uh, breathing deeper, or if it's uh, still be shallow, or it was already deep enough. So it's. Uh, what? Sometimes we may grieve not about people who passed away, but who are very sick. Or maybe sometimes we can grieve about ourselves, like that we are not the same anymore. Uh, and it's, uh, you can give yourself support as much as you need uh, at the, um, uh, previous time and what you need right now what is your support right now what do you want what do you need do you have enough mm, love and some somebody that um, some energies that can hold you some energy that Energies that can hug you in a very caring and tender uh, way.
allow yourself receive what you want right now and if you're working with yourself uh, there is a chance um, make sure that you really sending enough love and gratitude to yourself that you are able to do this work for yourself that you are able to mm, process it that you able to integrate it as much as you can maybe not everything but something is going to shift and so sometimes you need uh, more time to process sometimes it uh, can be transformed right away so there is no um, right time there is no right uh, mm, rules about like how fast it should be allow yourself be unique and patient so allow yourself to experience it as, as much as you can and we keep breathing and we still sending love and gratitude And if you uh, have this uh, memories or some uh, insights, why you uh, feel guilt or why you feel uh, shame or whatever you experiencing, uh, take it back with like breathe in all this energy. It's uh, it's still be there is no good or bad. There is a energy that could be used to to move forward, to be effective at present moment, to transform it in something different, in something positive. So we keep breathing, returning this energy back to ourselves. So, for example, I remembered like one of those guilt that I experienced that last time I visited Russia, I was so busy with my work that I did not visit his um, grave, which is uh, I usually do. And I breathe in all this guilt and I'm sending love and gratitude. So some of this guilt may doesn't make much sense but it's uh, still be there there is no logic in uh, in our feelings or emotions uh, or at least we are not trying to discover this logic right now we are trying to return the energy we're trying to establish a different connection this is what is uh, really the goal establish different connection heart to heart connection with love and gratitude. Notice if your heart is uh, is opening up more, or is it still be hard to open? So it's possible. Does it still be locked? So we can just breathe in and we're sending as much as we can. There is no really forcement. We are not trying to push anything and like really uh, I can do it. It's not about it. It's really about allowing ourselves to witness how do I express my love. How do I express gratitude? How much I can send right now? So 
If you want, you may rotate, of course, your drawing. It doesn't matter which side is on. And if you have any doubts, if you have any resistance, just keep breathing, just keep returning this resistance back to you, back to your heart, transform it in love and gratitude. So we keep breathing and we keep rounding this million of angles that we It's interesting, I have this movement in my right eye, so it's uh, like something is um, Unlocking, I don't know. See how beautiful are your lines, how many of them, how strong is this connection, how beautiful is this connection. This is a very, um, really, there's so much life in those connections, energy. Keep breathing. So with breathing, uh, I believe that it's a very mm, more gentle release than, and it's, um, again, it's, uh, it's very supporting. The, we're really activating our life force, our desire to uh, to return this energy back to your body, back to your soul, back to your mind. And it may give you Mm. much peace as well because everything is slowing down when you start breathing slower So if you still need some support or you want to invite uh, additional support for this person you are saying you're working with uh, today, um, please do so. You can add uh, support at any time, even if everything will be already uh, colored, you still be able to draw a circle. Just make sure that you integrate it with everything else. So it's uh, 
harmoniously integrated with all other participants, with all other um, energies that are present on your drawing. The drawing is just a reflection of what is going on inside of you. how's your how's your body reacts like what do you feel in your body any small reactions like we when i ask my student like what is your body reactions like everybody expects it's something big should happen sometimes it could be very um, slight change of the temperature or maybe some nose is scratching or maybe some tweak in your leg or arm or some release of in shoulders so something uh, small it's not necessarily needs to be dramatic to be noticeable so We keep we keep breathing. Make sure when you invite resources and support for yourself that you have some connections with them. Like that there are some lines between you and those resources that you really. Uh, accepting the help and support that they are not just present but they uh, actively supporting you they actively holding you uh, energetically involved in the support so invite uh, like draw more lines draw more connections See if any anything else you want to share with this uh, person. If you want to receive a blessing for anything else. Okay, for example, I want, um, okay, I introduced my children, but um, my grandpa never met my husband, and I want to receive blessing to our marriage. Even we are married already for over 20 years, I still want this, I still want this blessing. Okay, so I... I invite this blessing from ancestors through my grandpa 
And we are taking this. There's so many participants already on this drawing, but it's a, it's my reality, and uh, any anybody or anything can be part of my reality. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. It's you. For you, it's important. For you, it's um, supporting. If you want to bring flowers that will support you, bring flowers. It's uh, If you feel this energy, if you feel this desire to be supported by something fragile even give it to yourself trust your intuition maybe it's what you need this is uh, if you want to uh, bring creativity or art or music that is very helping and very supporting to you please do so there is no uh, you don't have to ask permission from anybody. Can I do this or that? You can do whatever you feel is needed right now for you. Only you who knows the best. And we keep breathing and we keep rounding all these small corners. Some of you will have many of them. Some of you will have a uh, few. It um, really doesn't, um, it does not indicate uh, anything in this process. Like you, as much as you need. This is uh, um, importance. This is a, um, when we do rounding, this is the moment where we really transform. This is when we really uh, changing our perception from this uh, challenges to this beautiful, harmonious world. Harmonious energies, vibrations. So we keep rounding, we keep breathing. We keep holding our feet on the ground to make sure that we still be grounded enough. Interesting. The the longest, uh, the very last corners are left. 
in myself. Oh, there's some here, okay. And of course, we are going to color everything. We are going to bring new emotions. Or maybe we still uh, still hold some old ones. We, it's okay too. We don't uh, expect that everything can be resolved in one process, in one drawing. So but notice if there is at least something has shifted, if there is something has changed, if you feel a little bit less um, pain or suffering, it's already an achievement. Something is going on with my right eye. There's so many lines that is really like, uh, it's beautiful by itself without any colors. interesting when I start rushing through uh, roundings I the best if you can do it um, keep breathing breathing is really uh, return you to the present moment Okay, so I found it. See if anything else wants to be added to this beautiful lines, or if we start um, not rounding, if we start coloring. Choose color that really wants to be on this drawing. what is
just the same way as we always do we uh, unite several segments and in this case we have like so many small um, segments that is really an opportunity to unite many of them together. Do you want to create a flow or if you want to uh, just color uh, some area of the same color? What do you want? The goal is really unite, not just um, color separate segments, but unite to make it connected together, to make it as a uh, look like one big shape. You go um, across all black lines to to create a big shape. If you want to add something else, please don't hesitate at any time. There is no uh, really um, restriction that you cannot add anything. So there is um, sometimes when we start already coloring, something important show up. So we There's always an opportunity. So see which colors you want to, uh, if you want additional colors, there's no limitations how many you want to use. Sometimes it could be three sometimes it could be ten so see maybe it's um, this particular drawing wants to be very colorful
There is no rules how it should look. You may leave some uh, white uh, color. White color is a color too. Beautiful color. Um, well, you can color everything. So it's a really... opportunity for you. To experiment. Have this earthy colors, very natural. I think this blue color looks so bright here. Even it's uh, so refreshing. So I want this beautiful blue stream, like really like a fresh stream of water. It wash wash away all this guilt. Sometimes some blames, maybe some disappointments. In blue, like all these black lines it was created, uh, look even more beautiful. They look even more defined. It's interesting when I start uh, using this yellow color, so many memories start shows up, really related to my grandpa and grandma as well.
So see if you want to expand any colors, if you want to add more, if you want to uh, blend those colors together. So it's an opportunity too. There is no strict rules what you can or not. So play with this, see what is what, what wants to be on this drawing. I paid so much attention to details when I was um, rounding all the corners. There were so many corners. There's so much to do. Uh, but right now, it's um, I feel like I don't need any more to uh, to be so detailed in my emotions. I can just express them. I can just uh, let them be big and free yeah. and you may um look see if there is anything else if your colors are balanced if you have enough um, colors on both of your sides uh, it's, uh, Want to expand this blue color. Blue one really what brings me life to this drawing. Not yellow, not green, but blue. Blue for some reason today is uh, very important. Let's see if it's a different blue. So if you uh, want to be connected to some um, participants on your uh, drawing, like to some resources, to some uh, support, you can do it with colors as well, not just through lines, but through colors as well. So see what what brings your attention, what's really 
wants to be explored or expanded or connected whatever makes you feel present and, uh, At the end, we still have uh, some steps that need to be done. And one of the most important is to bring uh, field lines. And with field lines, I really invite you to, to uh, set it free, let it flow, let it go, let it... Um, Let it be um, connected with the gratitude. So field lines, as always, we use uh, boulder lines that go through all this uh, line. So I set it free. I let, I take all my uh, energy that is holding this beautiful soul and I sending it free. The soul has options. It wants to go, it will go. It doesn't want to go, it stay. But I don't hold any um, expectations that it needs to stay with me. I don't hold any demands that it needs to stay with me. I'm strong enough and I see this beauty in this uh, transformational relationship and it can go and um, be some somewhere else some and of course, we need to uh, integrate all these new corners that those bold lines created. So I integrate this idea of letting it go in my mind, in my perception to life. It is beautiful connections around all the small corners that can be causing some misinterpretations, miscommunications, and And we're still asking for this uh, greater forces to help us to heal this um, experiences. Even this uh, power to heal it is in our hands. You may find yourself keep breathing uh, even after the drawing is uh, over. So if you, um, if you keep breathing, keep doing it. Uh, it may um, 
your body may be adjusted. It may be found as, uh, as a powerful tool. So just keep breathing, keep sending gratitude and love. Um, as much as you need, there is no time limitation. There is no uh, expectations how long it should last. It will last as long as you need it. And you just observe if there is any slight change changes in your body. And like if there is a, I've noticed that my eye, it was um, acting weird during the whole drawing is calm down. It's really, there is no twitching anymore. There's no Keep rounding. I keep breathing. It's like, seems um, time stopped and it's really, I keep experiencing it. And for future, you don't even have to um, draw, uh, like if you come back to the same um, topic, the same um, memories, uh, you can just do a couple, uh, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in all this uh, psychic energy from this memory and return love and gratitude. And it may help you to uh, return this power and energy in the present moment. So let me know what will be your experience around it. I feel like I rounded two million corners today. With each corner, we release some new energy. Unlock it, harmonize it. So. I need this energy right now. There is so much project I need to do. So I'm very grateful for an opportunity to, to have this energy.
I think that's it. And at the end, what is the most important? What do you want to remember from this um, uh, experience, from this process? What do you want to highlight? Which element you want to highlight? You may uh, highlight it with a bolder line, outline, or you may highlight it with this, um, just with the color. So see what is, um, what brings your attention? What do you want to experience? Uh, what, what do you want to remember? So for me, this um, circle that represents my grandpa, I want to remember the most. And I want to remember this beautiful blue color. So I want to highlight it. I hope it will be stay beautiful after blending with other colors. And it's interesting how it's uh, really translucent. It's uh, like a like a drop of water. doesn't change much other colors almost like clear water just a little bit blue So if you need to add anything else, please do so. Any details that need to be adjusted, you can do it at any time. You can even return to this drawing later if you want. And see, how do you feel? How do you feel about this um, person? How do you feel about this let it go? About um, gratitude that um, Uh, we're sending and all this do you feel it inside of you do you feel that um, any changes any shifts any in your perception so there is no right or wrong answers there is only <laughs> your experience that is really matter um, about this one and it's uh, be honest to yourself. Don't uh, feel sorry if if it's um, if 
changes are not significant, it's, it's okay. Observe any, any small shifts will be powerful. We really uh, trying to move for fast, but sometimes small shifts may cause very big changes later. So we accept as small changes, small shifts. And I feel like I was working not just with my grandpa, but with me, my grandma as well. So it's uh, both of them are um, connected and supported. And this is really what makes me feel um, strong. So this was our drawing. We actually had almost two hours. So. If Catherine, if you have any questions, let me know if you have any comments. I will appreciate them. And well, um, I'm almost done with mine. I'm just working on the field lines now. Um, I'm, I ended, I chose a situation mm -hmm. as my, so I'll be curious to see how things have shifted. And I, um, Usually I do like, I usually don't get one done during a class and then during the week I a lot of times do another one on another mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I've been doing, you know, like catharsis, which, you know, like you've also mentioned this as one you tend to do more often than say a yes, particular yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. We actually right now is running a um, marathon, 21 day marathon that is uh, every day we do catharsis because oh. I believe that this is the best tool we have to really uh, let go some patterns in our lives, like really how we can shift, uh, peel all these stories and all these beliefs that we, um, integrated in our lives for years and it's uh, yeah about 80 percent of my drawings are about catharsis and it's a pure catharsis <laughs> or is it integrated with something else there is a like yeah i use it a lot mm -hmm. and, I, and i um i like the hopono pono i did the, another one of those too which was helpful mm -hmm. so yeah um, I appreciate having a variety of exercises to pull from now when I go, oh, here's a situation. Hmm, maybe I want to do catharsis or hope <laughs> on a pono or, you know, yes. I have a variety here to like choose from in terms of it. So I like that too. Yeah, uh, I, um, I offer many tools. So use, uh, use whatever you feel that is serving the best. It's, uh, Tools are useful only when you use them. So, and some of them will be in use. Some of them will be not so much, but for other people, it could be a completely different set of tools. It's, uh, so that's why there are so many of them. <laughs> yeah, no, and the different, you know, like the different themes. So I'm curious too, in terms of seeing, you know, maybe three to six months from now as accumulation of all these different things I've been working on. I'm using other tools too, um, to see, hmm. And now having all these different types of drawings to look back on, it's gonna be very interesting, I think, to just uh, look at it. And I, I got a lot of these now. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's actually, right now there is so many options there is uh, it's like a waterfall of opportunities to look inside and use uh, art as a healing method or there is a different um, modalities that really help us to 
express what is hidden inside of us. It's, mm -hmm. uh, so we're quite spoiled. Uh, I think every time has enough resources. We just, for those who is looking, who those who is ready, there is always opportunities to find the right tool. So. Mm -hmm. But it is wonderful to have all these drawing aspects. Like they've, I came across, have you heard of EFT? The mm. emotional freedom technique, it's a, like a tapping technique. Oh, tapping, yes, yes. So um, I came across where they were combining it with um, doing, you could say doodles. Mm -hmm. And so that was very interesting in terms of like um, doing EFT with doodling at this, you know, together as a process. The other thing, have you ever heard of Zentangle? Yes, and it's uh, some of my students combine Zentangle and Neurographica. So, oh. And it's a uh, really interesting effect uh, shows oh. up. Uh, what interesting that um, I'm, I took one uh, class uh, like uh, with um, Matrix Energetics. They do some, not doodling, but they do something very similar to catharsis. They don't mm -hmm. do roundings, but uh, it's interesting how they really using this doodling or expressing to release some information from, the, from your reality and how mm -hmm. you can unpack it and, and use it as a, like every problem has a uh, seed, uh, healing seed, like healing um, vibration that is already oh. hidden in the problem. And you mm. can just find it, what, what is the seed and use it to heal the whole situation, to heal the person. So it's um, very interesting. Um, Maybe I will think uh, how we can integrate it because it's. A I think that sounds very interesting in terms of that, like the seed, the healing seed within the issue. It's kind of, oh, well, you did it. We had one where we did, uh, oh, what was that? Going, gosh, I wish I could remember it now. But it was, was it a trauma one? There was one that. About um, letting go? No, it wasn't the letting go one. It was around that time, though, that seems to kind of echo that seed concept you're talking about. Um, when I think, if I think of it, I'll email you. Okay. Um, but yeah, that could be really interesting. And I know you mentioned last time you were thinking about doing an exercise with different types of love. And I think that would be. Yes, uh, I, I'm creating quite a list. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, before, uh, uh, I'm like taking lists right now what, what I need to <laughs> do research about. <laughs> Every class requires some um, some reading and some preparation before I can even start. Like even to um, refresh my knowledge, it, it takes some time. <laughs> well, and you're busy. You've got other things in your life going on too, yes. so... Yeah, this uh, summer is busy for me, so which is good. I'm yeah. glad to be busy and be. One of the uh, things that not everyone in has talks about this with Zentangle, but I guess the people who came up with the whole Zentangle concept. So one of the things they suggest is while you're doing creating a Zentangle is you take moments to pause and appreciate mm -hmm. what is showing forth. Mm -hmm. And I really like that concept because I feel like so much of the time we don't pause and appreciate and look at. And so um, it's like looking at your Zen tangle in all different angles mm -hmm. as part of this pause as you create it. And I was thinking, you know, I, I want to incorporate that too when I knew, do the neurographica is like take these pause moments and just appreciate it from different angles. So, you know, you move your paper different ways across your eye view and um, I think that's a good way to bring that gratitude and integration at the same time to your work as you're doing it. 
It's very important point because uh, even in um, like especially in our lives, like we are so many, we have so many goals that we reach one goal and we right away jump to another one exactly. without really time to celebrate your achievement. And it seems like you never achieved anything because you're always running and doing something. And how you can slow down even for some short time it doesn't really require much time to celebrate your achievement mm -hmm. but it will give you some milestones and resources to move forward so that you are not just um, running without uh, any um, important breaks you're you still be uh, achieving middle goals and they can be very big and it's a uh, we don't give enough um, energy and um, emotions to this. Yes, yeah. we, we're skipping this very important step. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also feeds this kind of hunger that people have like for more to do more. But if you so if you don't pause, you're always hungry. And you're always like overstuffing yourself with experiences or items or you know what I mean because that pause or that breath that you also like remind people to do as you're doing the neurographica is another way to just integrate it and then maybe people wouldn't have to use so many resources across the planet because they're pausing and appreciating and integrating um so we we don't have to be so grabby etc <laughs> Yes, it's time to uh, to feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. When you pause and you feel like, am I satisfied? Is it enough for me? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe you don't have to do all those beautiful goals that you have and overachieve all of them. Maybe it's enough to, to celebrate life and just be be happy. Yes. And you know, I mean, it seems to be we have this, I don't know how much this is across the planet, but I would definitely say in the United States is this feeling like, am I enough? Am I doing enough? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times women seem to carry that as like a issue about enoughness. And so I think really that pause and celebration and integration would start to whittle away that feeling of lack of enough across the board yeah very um like in the area where i live there is always signs uh, standing uh, along the road that mm -hmm. there is a you are enough and it's oh. a, and it still be such a for first like what are they talking about? Well, it did not really resonate with me. Mm -hmm. But the more I was like thinking about it, because it's uh, so catchy and it's so uh, interesting perception. Mm -hmm. like, I was like, really? All this anxiety that people experience is because we feel that we've done not enough. And, yeah. and it's uh, really... Or we're not enough. We haven't done enough. We're not enough. Um. I think that it, that feeds that issue of people needing approval and validation all the time because they're not feeling enough in themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's a beautiful point to, <laughs> to finish our class. Yeah. And uh, I really, um, I am enough and I believe that everybody is enough and we have enough resources to be happy right here, right now. So we just need to look around and see what are those resources, what are the support. Um, there is a beautiful um, saying that people are okay and everybody has enough to be, um, to, to live the way they want. So mm -hmm. at any moment, at any moment. So because enoughness is inside of us, it's not external. It's um, it's uh, your state of being. So mm -hmm. I yes. wish we all experience this enoughness. Yeah. 
<laughs> if there is such a word. <laughs> so have a great day. Have a great yes. celebration of Independence Day tomorrow. We have a we have a lunar eclipse on a celeb during the celebrations. Oh, right. so mm -hmm. It's interesting. And it actually will be in Seattle, it will be visible around 9 p.m. So, oh, tomorrow? It's tomorrow. It's a partial lunar eclipse. I will have another Russian class at the same time, at that time. <laughs> so, we'll see. Um, so, have a great day. Yes. Oh, have a great Namaste. night. Yes. Namaste. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.